Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow! moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. You are using a rigged coin. It's there not a rigged coin. no How way you can I get, get a rigged coin. coin. You're just a jinx. It's not. I am I'm not a jinx. You can't get a coin flip to go your way. Whoa, what are y'all fighting about? She's using a rigged but coin. I'm no, but she's using, using a rigged coin. Rigged. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, only one at a time. One at a time. It all started in How Does It Work at the Ball Coaster. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. Oh, uh, well, we can't both go first. Okay, I'll flip a coin. Heads, I go first. Tails, you go first. Okay, that seems fair. Heads, I go first. That wasn't so bad, except... Heads! It kept happening again and again. Heads! And again. Heads! And again. Heads! didn't cheat. Then how do you explain getting all those heads? There's an even chance of getting heads or tails. How come there are no tails? Ah, uh, I think I see. We probably have a misunderstanding about probability. Probability is a measure of how likely an event is. Let's look at the probability of coin flips. If we want to know the probability of heads, there's only one way for the heads to land up out of two possible outcomes, heads or tails. So the probability is a one to two ratio. The same is true for tails, one to two. It's an even chance. Let's try it with a die. There's only one way for each number to land up out of six possible outcomes. So the probability for each number is a one to six ratio. Now let's try it with a spinner. There's only one way for each of the four numbers of this spinner to come up, so the probability for each number is a one to four ratio. Now let's look at this spinner. There are four segments, but there are three opportunities for red to come up, so the probability of red is a three to four ratio. But for this spinner, while there are still four segments, there are only two opportunities for red, so the probability of red is a two to four ratio. However, probability is just a prediction. It does not guarantee an event will happen. Just because a coin lands on heads the first time does not guarantee it will land on tails the next. But is it really an even chance that a coin will land on heads or tails? Well, to measure that, we have to do lots of tests, more than just five, six, or even 10. My assistants here have been flipping coins and recording their results. I have 51 heads and 49 tails. Well, I have 47 heads and 53 tails. So we're pretty close to an even number. And the more tests we do, the closer we would get. But the probability for any coin to come up heads is still gonna be one to two. Now, probability has all sorts of real life applications. For example, weather forecasters use probability to predict where storms are going and what the chance of rain is gonna be. And of course, game designers have been using probability for generations. Let's look at this a little closer. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. We're going to play a fun probability game called Pass or Roll. For this, you'll need one die and some counters, such as small candies, beans, or coins. Even though it's just the two of us, this game can be played with a lot more people. First, place all the counters in the middle of the table. Next, everyone rolls the die once. The highest number goes first. Each player takes turns rolling the die. If you roll a one to five, you may take that many out of the middle. So there's a five out of six chance you'll take away something. But if you roll a six, you'll have to put everything you've earned back. So there's a one in six chance you'll have to put it all back. After the first roll of your turn, you can either choose to pass the die on to the next player or roll again and take a one in six chance that you'll roll a six and lose everything. The first person to reach 40 pieces wins the game. Remember, when the die is passed to you, you have to roll at least once. After that, you can choose to keep rolling or pass the die. And you can keep rolling the die as many times as you want until either you win or you roll a six. With the six, you have to put everything back and pass the die. 
Keep in mind that with every roll, there's a one in six chance of rolling a six. It doesn't matter what you rolled previously or how long it's been since you last rolled a six, it's always one in six. You could go 10 rolls without rolling a six and still you may not roll a six on the next roll. But it's amazing how much it feels like that six is right around the corner, especially when you start gathering up large numbers of pieces. Because the last thing you want to have happen is have a large number of counters 38, come on, two, come on. No! And have probability be a problem. <laughs> this has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>